Alright, so in this video what we're going to do is we're going to install my custom user interface and toolbar. Uh, so this is obviously when you install ZBrush, this is what it would look like. Uh, installing your own custom one is really easy and making it yourself and saving it. So say you were to make a bunch of changes to it, all it is is saving your UI and hotkeys, saving your hotkeys. So doing the two separate ones is that. So if you go to the link in the description you will see the text document for my UI and my toolbar. Um, and then when you've downloaded those, you can just go up into here, go to config, load UI, and then load in the Animark user interface. Um, and this is what I use. So also what we wanna be installing is that um, hotkey, Animark hotkeys. So the hotkey that is probably the most important for me um, is Alt T, which is what brings up my toolbar which is the master toolbar, it's broken up into UV, modifying topology and poly modeling. I usually just open this for everything that I work on. Um, it's kind of a one-stop shop for a whole bunch of stuff. If you wanna add things to it, um, so this is how you would do it. So you can use this as a base if you want. Um, so we'll just dock this over here. If you wanted to change the name uh, of, so we'll go into preferences, just go enable customize. So if you wanted to change the name of the toolbar, it's just control alt and then click on the name of the toolbar and then you can rename it whatever you want. Or if you wanted to delete the toolbar, um, you get rid of everything, delete the text and hit enter and it will remove the toolbar completely, which we do not want to do right now. Um, but that's it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, if you wanted to add buttons into it as well, it's exactly the same thing as well. So now we've in down to enable customize. So say we wanted to add this button over into our toolbar, we can just move delete over to here. So we pop it in there. If we were to close this shelf, get rid of enable customize, so we go back to our regular setting and then hit Alt T, you'll see now that that's in there. So you can really use this as a base to build your own toolbars. I've kind of trawled the YouTube and the internet of my favorite artists and people that show these um, setups that they have and I've kind of taken the best parts of all of them and put them into one toolbar so hopefully you can find this one useful um, also if you were to custom UI the parts that are in the custom UI here it's just these elements here so what you can see is they're just the little palette numbers so I've brought them in over to here and adjusted it like so let's focus that back up preferences get rid of that coffee and that's about it so thanks for watching um, I hope you actually download it and use it to its full potential um, if you can like subscribe share all that kind of stuff it'd be really helpful um, or even tell someone someone at your university or someone uh, that you go to school with or someone that you know that um, might find this beneficial that'd be a huge help so thanks again for watching cheers